What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling this style of a facade where you have this bubble facade or a pneumatic facade or whatever you would call this style. Now this is the Allianz Arena and this is what inspired me to create this kind of a stadium style facade and can you guess which country it's from? Yeah, the Germans built this and now I'm just going to be modeling the whole facade in Revit so if you want to use it in some of your projects you can. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to choose the architectural template for this project. And first I like to set the units, so I'm just going to set them to meters because it's a large project and we're going to be creating a large chunk of a facade. And for that I am immediately going to jump to massing in site and then go to in place mass. Let's just close this and let's just call it mass1, we can leave it at that. So here now we need to model a segment of a facade, you can do the whole thing but for this tutorial just to keep it simple and short I'm just going to be doing one straight segment. So to do that I need a vertical reference plane just to place my facade profile on and in order to be able to select it easier I just like to name it. So let's just name it profile. Okay, and, and now we need to go into some elevation where we can, where, where this is perpendicular, so let's go to east elevation, and here we are. So now let's just create a profile of this stadium, so it has kind of a bubbly style uh, protruding uh, arc uh, profile, so I'm just going to go here to arc, and then for a work plane, I'm just going to choose our profile work plane, and then let's start from the bottom, and now we're here and let's just finish it here and kind of create this arc just go finish and go into 3d so this is what you get so now you just select it and you go create form and then you can select one of these edges and kind of extend it a bit just to get a bit more real estate okay so once we have this we can select this whole surface and go here to divide surface now this has divided our facade in rectangles now you can change this you can rotate this grid for this particular example I'm just going to keep a rectangular rectangular grid but you can uh, kinda change it around and rotate it if you want to do something different and now I just would like to have an approximate uh, dimension of these rectangles and so for that I'm just going to go to south elevation and go to one of the, these middle ones because that's the most perpendicular and just go to measure and kinda just measure the height which is 1.25 and let's measure the horizontal distance which is 2.0403 Okay, so once we have those dimensions and we have modeled our facade profile, uh, we need to actually model the uh, curtain panel that's going to be going over here. And that's modeled as a separate family, so for that you need to go here to File, go to New, and now go to Family. And here for the family template, you just drop back a folder, go to English Metric, and if you're using Imperial, just use Imperial. And here you have this metric curtain panel pattern based. So that's what we have here. We have this pattern and we want to create a curtain panel that goes there. And you get something that looks like this. And now we can select it and as you can see now it's at a rectangle. But here if you go to units, this is actually in millimeters. So let's just change this family also to meters just to make it easier. Just meters, okay. And now if you select this pattern, so you can't you, you need to select this whole pattern and then here you have the spacing. So for the horizontal spacing let's do that 1.24 I think and this was if I recall 2.03. So you get something that looks like this. So this is our panel that's going to be repeating and now we need to create our profile. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to point element and make sure it says here draw on face and I'm just going to select the middle of these two longer sides of the rectangle. So once you've selected them you now go like this and you select the two of them and you go spline through points and it connects them. 
and now you just scroll down here a bit and check is reference so now we have a reference plane that will always stay in the middle of this rectangle and why do we need that well we need a profile uh, plane for modeling our bubble shape so what I'm going to do next is go to arc and now we need to switch back down to draw on work plane and here you just set the work plane and I'm just going to go here hit tab key once so I select the vertical one and then just go from first point to last point and then you give it an arc and I'm just going to give it a bit of a stronger arc than it is on the Alliance Arena but I'll, I want this to be a bit stronger so you get the point what we're doing here then you go to set and let's set the vertical one over here as well and just create a simple line going through here and then you go again set tab select the vertical one and then again you just do from point to point and now once we have these three lines we can actually combine them and create our bubbly shape so you just hold the control you get this little plus see when I hit the control it this little plus appears next to my cursor so I select the first one second one last one create form this is what you get then you select the form and you go here for material let's go edit material and let's choose something white so let's type in white and let's see now I've tried canvas but it isn't really white it kind of appears in some brownish color so I don't like that so I'm just going to go to something like paper this is like full white just go apply okay and this is what we get so now let's select this point and go to set and you select this point and then you go to circle and you create a circle over here kind of like this and the reason for this circle is we're actually creating construction around this now the Alliance Arena doesn't have visible construction but I like to have visible construction just adds more detail and more is definitely more -er. so let's do that so I'm just going to select all of these reference planes lines sorry reference lines and this circle and just hit create form and this is what you get now we tab once select this whole frame and let's give it a different material let's go for some aluminum and yeah aluminum oh shiny no let's do the normal one let's don't get crazy so once you've done this whole family you can go here to realistic yeah it looks real cool and let's load it into project and now it's loaded so now you can select this uh, the surface and then you go here to properties you scroll down and next to rectangle you've got your family so you just hit your family and whoop, here it goes so it kinda placed our family on it and as you can see we can't really see the bubbles because it's in a hidden line and hidden line doesn't really show curved surfaces so you just go to realistic and you get this and now it looks real cool so basically that's how you created this project and uh, still you can make it look even better so you just go here to finish a mass and now it's done so let me just create a camera view and perhaps render a an image so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here to level one and create a camera kind of like this and now to angle the camera you just go here to this little full navigation wheel and you look up a bit kind of like that to see everything maybe we can extend these a bit yeah looks real nice and now if you go to realistic you can see it added some shading but it added the kind of ambient shading so we need to turn on these shadows and now it looks even more uh, you can see these kind of curves or bubbles a lot a lot better and now it's time to render this so I'm just going to double tap R for render and here let's call let's go to medium and let's yeah let's leave it at screen and just for this I am just going to instead of having like a sky because we don't have a ground or anything I'm just going to go here to style of background and go to color and let's just use back black color for background and just hit render and let's see what we have yeah there you go so it looks real cool and it's quite realistically 
looking. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial for creating a facade for Allianz Arena in Revit or a similar style of facade, but you can use this to do the, the actual facade. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.